So in this video, I'm going to be doing a couple of square one example solves. And I use five look Vandenberg with full CSP and EP prediction. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys get something out of this. The scrambles will be on the screen. Let's get started. So uh, this first scramble, we have this and this. So the good solution would be to just do one slice into scalp kite. However, unfortunately, we get the bad solution. So what I'm going to do is hold it from this angle and then do this so that now we have this case where we have L and 114, then do this move so that now we can actually do scalp scalp or scalp kite from the front. Now we have this, which looks like it might skip, but it actually won't or actually it might. I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it did skip. So uh, that's interesting. I didn't think it was gonna it was gonna skip, but it did. So that shows that there's still stuff that I need to learn. So now here we have P W. With P perms, there are two cases that you can force if you do a J perm, which is gonna be adjacent and opposite. Opposite W isn't really a good alg, but W adjacent is actually a pretty good algorithm. So I'm gonna force adjacent, and that's by preserving this horizontal block. And then we have uh, W adjacent. So here we have scallop barrel, and if this was the good case, then it would be one slice to shield shield. But since it's the bad case, how I would do it would be to hold this barrel like this, do that, and then a sort of D2 move, and then force scallop scallop like that, and then do scallop scallop. Now I can see that we have this case, which if you had it from this angle, the best way to solve it would just be to do that. But since I have it from this angle, the way I do it is by first uh, joining these two black corners together and then solving it like this. And I noticed that I can actually uh, get a better um, EO case because if I did this, it would be the same. But I sort of want to preserve this block over here. So I'm going to do like that. Now we have LL. Uh, the best way to probably do it would just be to do LL from the front like so. But in a normal solve, I probably wouldn't do that. I would notice, however, that there are headlights here and it looks like there's going to be a diagonal swap PLL on the bottom. And what do you know? I was right. So we here we have RV and for RV, R, as you can see, this is RL with the block on the left. So we want to force UR on the bottom because we're going to have UL on top. To force UR on the bottom, you're just going to keep it aligned. And then you get good U perms. So now for this case, uh, there's not really a good or bad bad algorithm, but what you would do is first do a D2, which is not ideal, but it is kind of what I do. I don't know any other way to do this case. Then slice. So you have pawn and a square, then do that slice. So now you have one, one, four, and then based on what the parity is, you can either force scallop scallop from the front or scallop scallop from the back. So for this case, it would be scallop scallop from the back. Then you would have this and I can notice that since we have this sort of case, just from experience, I have a feeling that we're gonna get a LL and here we have it. So we just did U2 do to slice and then looked ahead and here we see that we have diag swap and diag swap. So we're going to have two diag swap uh, PLLs. Also, we see we have this block over here and not really any blocks. So we this block is going to get preserved by the LL PLL. So and now we have uh, VE and for VE, there's not really a good solution for this. So what you would just do is just NN into ZE or ZU. And it's actually a pretty good angle for ZU. So we didn't, it wasn't really even that bad. So here we have this case, 1, 2, 3, L. And if this was good, 1, 2, 3, L, it would just be one slice to uh, shield square. But since this is bad, 1, 2, 3, L, you are actually going to do two slices to shield square. And here we actually get it from a pretty good angle because what we can do is for slice like this, and then we're going to have. 1, 2, 3, L again, but then we're going to have the opposite 1, 2, 3, L. 
And now this is actually gonna be good U123 L. So we can actually move this L over here and then slice like that. And now we have shield square. And if you notice, we have this actually solved sort of thing over here. It might be optimal to sort of adjust it like that. I wouldn't notice it in like a normal solve, but I mean, if you don't notice it, then it would probably be best to align it like this because the rest of this alg is two gen. So how you do this is join these two white, uh, white pieces together and then solve it in the bottom. Then you get L uh, line. And I noticed that we have headlights and headlights over here. So we are gonna have double headlights as our PBL. And I was right. And here we actually have bad uh, AR. And how I can tell it's bad is because the blocks for the A and the R are on, are on opposite sides. So if we preserve the blocks, then we're actually gonna get bad U perms. So what I usually th uh, think about when I get bad AR is that first of all, we're gonna keep this block to the side and treat it like the solved block of a U perm. And then treat this part as the opposite block of a U perm. So, uh, and now for an A perm, we're gonna treat this part as the solved block of a U perm. And then we're gonna do good U perms. And then we actually get JJ. There are two ways you can do this case and for CSP. Either you hold it so that you sort of have this case so that you can do two slices to scalp kite and only misalign one of the layers while setting it up. Or you can do it like this where you have two slices to scalp kite and you have to misalign both layers while setting it up. For this CSP, you have to use the both layers alloc. So now we have CO and as we can see, we have two slices then EO, and we see that we're gonna have a solved top and an adjacent uh, PLL bottom in the perfect sort of place as well. And now, as you can see, we have W, uh, PJ. So we actually can just predict what our entire solution is gonna be just from here. We're gonna get W edge and then execute W edge from there. And then uh, for W edge, there are actually two ways you can do this. One, you can either do the normal alg and cancel into the bar flip, or two, the one I prefer, is you can actually do edge edge from the back, making sure to start with an up slice, and then cancel into Z perm on top. Okay, so here we have actually one of the worst cube shapes known to mankind. Uh, what How you would do this is by uh, solving it into shield barrel, and then doing this CSP. So uh, for my CSP case, you would actually do a D prime move like that, and then do shield shield. Now we have uh, CO, which is just gonna be this. So join the two white corners together, solve it into the bottom. And then we have LL, and we can notice that we're gonna have Diag PLL on top. In fact, we're probably gonna have a uh, S perm or an N perm, in fact. That's how we can, that's what we can predict at least. And then we're gonna have an Adj PLL on the bottom. And as you can see, our prediction was true. We got uh, SC and the best way to solve SC would probably be to preserve this block and don't preserve this block to get WW. However, uh, the best PBL way to solve this would actually be to do edge edge over here. So edge with this block and this block. And then you actually get FV. As you can see, this color matches this color, and we have this opposite block over here. And then uh, we want to switch these two pieces, not these two pieces, because these two pieces are sort of rotating around this block corner. These two pieces are not rotating around the block corner. And then we get F. So this is a sort of similar case that we got earlier uh, for CS, and this is the double uh, misalignment case. So we're gonna do one slice to, two slices, sorry, to scallop kite. And then we have CO. And for the CO, what you could actually do, what would be the optimal solution, would be to do this and then get a two gen solution. I would not have done that. I would have just done something like that, but this would have been the optimal way. Now you have one, one. You see this giant block over here, which is gonna be preserved. And for the bottom, I mean, I probably wouldn't have noticed anything, but from these two not being opposite and these two being opposite, you can probably deduct or deduce that this is going to be an adjacent 
uh, pillow on bottom. And this block didn't actually get preserved, but we do have headlights. And now as we can see, we have CC. And it's actually good CC because as you can see, uh, we have both blocks in the back. We have this opposite block and this opposite block. And as you can see, they're opposite, opposite blocks. And how we would do this is actually PJ PJ into good U perms. So this is a uh, 2.6, which is a star case. And with star cases, the CSPs are very easy. You just sort of misalign it at the bottom by two. But this is actually the good version. So I can actually just do one slice into pawn pawn. Now we have this case, which can be solved very easily just by doing that, do gen solution. And then here we have LL. Notice this uh, headlights and this headlights, which are go both gonna be preserved. Also, we can actually probably predict that we're gonna get a T perm or a B perm on bottom. Let's do it LL. And now we have both things in the back and oh, it is actually T perm, okay. And um, yeah, so we have A, T. So we're gonna think about forcing good U perms. Uh, since we have A with the block on the left, we know that we're gonna get U, R on top. So we want U, L on bottom. And for U, L, you just wanna keep it sort of aligned. So we're just gonna do J, J into good U perms. Okay, so for this case, we have um, shield square. And how you would do this is hold it from this way because the shield must be on the right for the CS and then do it like this or like this and then do two slices into shield square. So, uh, and both these solutions are different CSPs for different parities. For this parity, I would do, uh, I would hold it like this and then do two slices into shield square. Then we have this one slice CO into L line. And as we can see, we're probably gonna get, okay, so here we have two adjacent colors and two opposite colors. Here we have all opposite colors. So we're gonna get a diag peel on top and an adjacent peel on bottom. So immediately align it to prepare. And here we have YR. So with R perms, right? Uh, since the block is on the left for an R perm, that means that we are gonna be expecting U L on the bottom. So we wanna force U R on top. How we do that is by uh, misaligning the Y perm. And then we're immediately gonna move because with R perms, it's actually fairly easy to track and predict exactly in which angle we're gonna get the uh, U perm because it's always gonna be that the opposite is gonna be over here and we know what the bar is gonna form. But, uh, so we can just predict like that. And then we can execute our good U perms. Okay, so now here we have pawn scallop. The two CSP solutions are to move pawn like this or move the L like this and then get scallop kite or to actually move a pair up in the scallop which uh, would be the correct CSP solution for this case, and then get scalp kite. So the full solution would sort of be to do like that. Now I have one slice CO into L line. We can notice we have headlights over here and here. And now we have uh, P and M. So again, we want to force a good PBL for M, we can only get Ws. So with P perms, we can either force an adjacent or an opposite and adjacent W is probably the best course of action here. So we're gonna do JJ into Adj W. And I am hilariously bad at executing this. Yeah, I didn't even execute it correctly. And I, I'm so bad at executing that PB, hold on. There we go. So here we have bad pawns. How we would solve this, one slice into uh, double scalps and star, and then misaligning the bottom based on whether we have parity or not. In this case, we do have parity. And then doing a sort of one move on top to get scalp scalp. Then we have this case. So we can just solve it like that. Then we have three, three. Notice we have headlights over here and headlights over here. Solve 
solve it like that. And now, as we see, we have uh, B and uh, K. So we can actually do adj adj from the back to swap these two. And then we have a JJ. So for JJ, since we have the bar flipped, we can do a special alg to uh, flip the bar while doing JJ. Now for our last solve, we have good fist fist. You know how to solve the uh, good case, but unfortunately we don't have the good case, we have the bad case. So how we would do this is by doing a slice like this and then doing a three swap like so, and then solving good pawn pawn like that. Now we have one slice, then we have LL. The optimal way would probably be doing it from the front, but I would do it from the back. Then we have a diag on bottom and headlights over here, which you might've noticed from before. And as you can see, our diag is S and our top is C. So what you would do is probably misalign the S perm on bottom and the uh, C perm on top. And then we would actually get WW. So that's it. I thought this could be a pretty good companion video to my advanced CPEP tutorial just to show these techniques in action. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.